Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a scrapbook layout and I got inspired by a couple of handmade tags that I made and I recorded the process but half of it got deleted. For some reason when my phone ran out of memory it just stopped. Um, it just didn't even save the video. So I am, I did actually capture the gold dip tags. I ended up doing some gold embossing on top of the watercolor tags that I created. So you will be seeing that. Um, the tags that I created was a black and white stripe with watercolors, some pink, like blush pink, mint, and mustardy yellow dip dye tags with watercolors, as well as two sequin tags with gold and um, like pink, not really sequins, but um, chunky glitter so you will be seeing that process and that's pretty much it so I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the tutorial okay so here I am showing you a grid block and some adhesive foam and I'm cutting that into a strip depending on what size you want um, for your gold dip is how large you're gonna want to cut your foam and I did this because I don't have a striped or a solid stripe clear stamp. So I just created one with some foam. Um, you can either use gold ink or anything that's gold that you want to use. Like spray paint, paint, anything like that. I'm actually using gold embossing powder and some Versamark because I love the way that looks. Um, I did create a layout before this, um, and that process, the whole thing just did not record. It was horrible. Very horrible, because that was my most favorite layout, like, I've ever made my whole entire life of scrapbooking, and of course, it didn't want to record. So, I am remaking a new layout with the same concepts of using my tags that I made, um, but yeah, so enough jibber jabbering. I am going to explain what I'm doing here. So I am showing you the process of the embossing and I love this process, just seeing it melt, um, especially with the gold. Um, I did have a haul video that I never posted, but I always tend to buy, some more gold embossing powder when they have it because they sell out quick for some reason gold is the new so yes um here i am decorating some of the other tags that i created and i'm going to show you a close-up of them as well oh god i'm so snotty it's gross but yes um here i felt like with the gold confetti it was too thick that i wasn't covering all the areas so i'm using some more watercolors to cover that up and i end up not liking this tag so i end up tossing it but um yeah so i haven't been making any videos lately school has been ridiculous and I've just been so tired and I'm really snotty <laughs> but yeah my bronchitis came back so I'm pretty sick but I'm gonna try to get this video out there for you guys I also have a couple of other videos that I really want to get out very soon so hopefully I can get those out as well but yeah so here's the process for the scrapbook layout I'm sorry for the very long video but I haven't made one in a while so I thought I just I guess post a long one I don't know <laughs> the process just kind of took a long time so here are two photos that I printed just so that way I can get two photos on one print and I chose to do this one of my new Disney shoes that I got at Disneyland and the new snack holder Chewbacca snack holder that Brian got me at Disneyland so you could see here the tags that I created um I thought the black and white stripe worked perfectly with this layout because my shirt in the picture was a black and white stripe. And so, yeah.
I will also include some photos of my other layout that I created just so that way you guys can see the similarities between the two. Um, but yeah, I think I'm also going to do a blog post so that way um, you guys can see the photos a little bit like more, I don't know, slower <laughs> because it's not going through the video. But um, here are some flower die cuts. Um, I actually created these with some new stamp sets that I got that I haven't shared. But Brian got me the Altenew, um Vintage Roses stamp set. That stamp set was sold out everywhere because it's about three, two years old. And I don't know what made me want to look on Etsy, but I found a lady that was de-stashing her stamps and just some crafting stuff because she was getting a new craft room and she had the vintage roses with the die um, set and it was about like $53 for both stamp and die set so I thought it was totally worth it so Brian got me that one and then I purchased on Amazon um, because I have Amazon Prime I got the Hero Arts layering for you flowers I believe and, um, I guess that stamp set just came out this year, which I didn't know. I didn't even realize that it was new, but that one also came with the die set. That one was about $25. So, um, yeah, I'm totally in love with these flower stamp sets because I love floral and being able to make my own die cuts with them are really fun. Um, I plan on making a video on using those and, um, just so you guys can see the process because it is a layering stamp so you get to do different layers with different colors so yeah um here i'm using the heidi swap um paper from the marquee collection and i'm using this new punch that i got from michael's like i said i had a haul video but i never posted it just because like i've been lagging and it was just way too late but um yeah, I love this punch. It's the punch all around the page punch, and it's an awesome stamp. <laughs> the butterfly is like a perfect size. Um, here I struggle because I feel like the photo is just floating there. So I try to put doilies. Um, I go and grab, because I thought the white was too small, I go and grab the gold doilies by Recollections to find out that the gold is a little bit more yellow. Um or more of like a bronzy yellow or bronzy gold color. I'm not sure if you guys can tell on camera, but they're a little bit different from the gold embossing powder. So I ended up not using that as well. And I just mat the photo onto some patterned paper. And you'll see me mat it twice, but then end up taking out one of the layers because I felt like it was too big of a mat um, but yeah so how is everybody doing I hope everyone's been doing well I just wish that I can be home and make videos for you guys because honestly this is my getaway from everything is just sitting at my desk and just creating it's the best feeling ever but we can't do that all the time, right? <laughs> so, yeah, anyways, I'm going to use some photo corners. I am obsessed with photo corners. I am shocked that I still haven't run out of my first package, but I am close to one sheet left, and so I'm going to have to go ahead and buy some more. But I love the way that the photo corners kind of make the picture pop out a little bit more. And okay, so I had to take a little pause there to blow my nose, <laughs> but um, yeah, so here's the really beautiful floral pattern paper from the Heidi Swap pattern paper pad, and I wanted to use it, but it just wasn't working for some reason. Um, it doesn't look bad now that I see it on screen, but it just, you can tell I was having a really hard time trying to figure out what to do with this. So, 
yeah I really enjoy making scrapbook layouts I kind of miss it because I haven't been doing them for a while and I love recording the process I also seen a couple of my older videos and noticed how much my style has changed so recording or taking pictures of your projects are always fun because you can see how much your style has changed and I really enjoy grid layouts I've noticed I think it just depends I guess on how I'm feeling but I really love grid layouts and working on smaller scales than just one large one but yeah just let me know what you guys love doing with scrapbook layouts like what's your favorite techniques what do you guys like using I love die cuts um and I love that um, you can even bring in some paint and just everything. It's so versatile, but yeah, just let me know in the comments down below. Um, here, as you guys can see, I took out the pattern paper and I am going to drop hot glue everywhere on my layout. Luckily, the hot glue gun wasn't hot enough to make, as you guys saw, <laughs> I dropped hot glue everywhere. It wasn't hot enough to where it was sticking to the paper and tearing it I was able to still rub it off and um, luckily not tear anything or leave any residue so thank goodness for that but I don't know what I was thinking by holding the hot glue gun over my project <laughs> or my layout so I am going to adhere all my tags down because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to change my mind because if I don't adhere anything down, I know I will end up changing my mind somehow. And I just picked up this hot glue gun from the 99 cent store. Um, and I just used it on my last layout that I supposedly recorded, which didn't. But it works really good. I got it just because, one, it was 99 cents, and two, my high temp one, it gets so hot that it constantly is leaking everywhere, so I felt like I just need that, um, just a normal one for my, pro like, my Project Life layouts, and, or, what am I saying? <laughs> I just need a regular temp hot glue gun for projects, and my high temp for anything else that deals with having to put stuff back together because it got very frustrating with a bunch of little hot glue dots hot glue gun dots everywhere <laughs> so yes I I don't know I don't even know what I was going to say but anyways I am going to adhere some of the flowers onto some with some foam adhesive just to give it a little bit more dimension and I'm using my hot glue gun to adhere everything down. Again, everything that I'm using here, all these floral pieces, even the leaves, are stamps. And um, the butterflies you see me punch out. Um, every time I use dimensionals on my scrapbook layouts, I like to use the hot glue gun on top of it. Um, just so I know it's going to stay there for a while. Because sometimes the glue on the foam does wear out. And so, yeah, like I said, I have a couple of videos that I want to put out there. Um, one of them is kind of like a challenge. It's going to motivate me for sure to make more videos, to, to make time for it. Um, but I'll get more into detail when I actually have that um, video recorded and everything like that. So that's just a little heads up for you guys. What else am I going to do? So I'm going to start embellishing, trying to find some other little die cuts and stickers to put onto the page. Here, um, that tag, I added a gold heart sticker. And those are just the dollar ones from Joann's. This is the Heidi Swap washi tape, but it's more like masking tape. It's not really washi tape. Um... And it's that mint with the floral. And I'm going to just put it on a couple of tags to make it look like it's holding the tags onto the page. And I thought that looked super cute. And I actually did that with my last layout as well. 
I'm here I'm going to go and look for some Disney stamps because this was taken at Disneyland and I'm going to use the Believe in the Magic and I mess up on stamping this because I did use a hot glue gun so there was like ridges and stuff like that I had to go and press um, harder on so you'll see that I mess up and then I have to re-stamp it so I might have my head in here oh yeah <laughs> my messy hair but yes so it turned out perfect so that's all that matters is that it came out really nice um what else so here I'm just using my new stamp cleaner that I got from Michaels as well to just put onto the stamp since I use stays on and my phone stopped recording after a certain amount of time um but it wasn't until I was already finished with the layout um but I did I was able to record um the ending I just had to wait for a little bit for my phone to charge and Brian got me a camera um to do some recording and just taking pictures and stuff like that because I use my phone and um yeah he so he got me one and I'm still trying to figure out where how or how to set up my tripod because he also got me a tripod and I I don't know how to set it up because my desk isn't large enough to have a tripod to where it doesn't show on the video so I want it to be this exact view where it's right on top because I really hate the angled views just like how my older videos were I finally figured out how to get videos like this and he got me a camera that um, I have to try to figure out how to make it work so hopefully I can get that um, figured out so that way I don't have to use my phone anymore because my old phone is horrible now at recording videos it's giving up on me it just it's messing me up right now with all my videos but um, as you guys can see I was adding some little details such as star sequins and some gold enamel dots I'm going to struggle and figure out where to put this piece but I end up just leaving it right there at the bottom as you can see, I keep trying to figure out where to put it. So I stuck it down there at the bottom. And then I'm just going to go ahead and try to add some little die cuts and stuff like that around. And then I'll talk to you guys towards the end of the video. I'm just going to play some music for the rest of this video. It's like about two minutes, maybe a minute. And then I'll explain or just give you guys a closer look at the layout.
Alright you guys, so here is the finished layout. I was talking through this part of the video, but I thought I'd just do a voiceover. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's very simple. I was explaining how much I love how this one turned out. Um, I am losing my voice. My nose is getting more stuffy. So I'm going to end it here. But I hope you guys enjoy this page. There will be pictures at the end of this video. And I will have my blog post and Instagram linked down below. So if you guys would love to check that out, go on ahead. Um, I will have a couple more pictures on my blog post of this layout as well as my other layout. So just make sure to go ahead and check that out. Let me know what you guys think of this video and of my layouts down in the comments below. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!